One of my favorite features of Facebook Messenger is that when you're using bots, you're not just limited to using text when communicating with your subscribers. You can use much more fun and interactive elements like images, videos, and even audio. In this lesson specifically, I'll be covering the video plugin and telling you all the benefits of it. Because the awesome part about this plugin is that when you want to send a video, you can do it natively and directly within the conversation. It's not like you have to send somebody to an external landing page or a YouTube video where it's going to take them out of that messenger experience. And if you're trying to sell them on something, potentially lose that sale or conversion. So let's add the video plugin by clicking the plus button. You can do this, of course, on any block. I just happen to be on the welcome message. And then we'll click to add the video plugin. Once we're here, we have two options for uploading the video to ChatFuel. We can either upload it from Facebook, meaning we've already uploaded this video to our Facebook page or we're using somebody else's Facebook video, or alternatively, we could upload the video from cloud storage, meaning Dropbox, Google Drive, or even your own server if you so choose. Now, I highly recommend that you use Facebook and upload the video to Facebook because there are many benefits to it. One is that the buffer time is immediate. There's no waiting around on the user side of things for that video to send, which may cause some confusion. Also with Facebook videos, there's no file size or time limit. With cloud storage, on the other hand, you're limited to a 20 megabyte file, which either you're sacrificing the time of that video or the quality of it. So Facebook all around is just better. They send instantly because those files are cached and Messenger is part of that ecosystem. So I highly recommend you use Facebook as opposed to cloud storage. So let's actually paste in a URL here. I've uploaded this video earlier to Facebook. Although it's on my personal page or my business page rather, and it's public, it actually is not, uh, it doesn't have to be that way. In other words, you can use somebody else's video on Facebook. Again, it doesn't have to be uploaded to the same page that your bot is connected to. Cool, so I have this video all set and ready to go. If you're seeing any errors, it may be for two reasons. One, you don't have this HTTPS in front of the URL, or two, it may be that there's actually just no video on the website that you're linking to. If you're linking to a Facebook video, that shouldn't be the issue, but if you're using cloud storage, it may not be a direct download link, which is what you need. So now let's test this bot out. I'm gonna click here to test it. And there we go, we see the video. Note, of course, as you see here in the customer chat plugin, which we'll talk about later in this course, the video actually will not play. But if I switch over here to messenger.com, which is how most people are likely going to be interacting with the bot, you'll see here that the video plays seamlessly, it loads instantly, there's no confusing wait time or anything of that sort. So that is how to upload a video using the video plugin in ChatFuel. I now encourage you to try uploading your own video. Try it using both methods so you get familiar with it, both the cloud storage method and the Facebook method, which is much better all around. Happy botting.